Hello! This video is one of a series about how to make some of the key parts for the quick and easy Stirling engine. The plans are available in the book. You can find the book at the Stirling Builder website or at Amazon or at your favorite bookstore. I'm going to show you right now how to make this drive diaphragm out of a balloon. In the last video we did some thermoforming. We slightly deformed this so it will fit against the side of the can and make that nice seal. Now we're going to use a regular helium quality balloon to make the, the drive diaphragm. So I'm going to cut off the straight neck of the balloon with a pair of scissors and I'm going to keep this piece, I need that. And then I'm going to cut the, the bottom third or so off of this balloon so now I just have the the top round part of the balloon remaining I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch it over over the drive cylinder that we made out of the pipe elbow I'm going to set that aside for just a second and I'm going to pick up this balloon neck again and I'm going to start here with the thick edge and I'm going to roll it down to the other end until it makes a heavy rubber band. Just keep rolling it. Until you have all of that balloon rolled up into a rubber band. And I'm going to use that rubber band to fasten The balloon onto the cylinder. Now I'm going to work the slack around so that the balloon is centered. And ideally you use a balloon that's the right size so you don't have any of these large wrinkles. So you try to work out as many of the wrinkles as you can because a wrinkle like this will cause a leak. This balloon is just a little bit too big so we'll stretch it until it's a little bit tighter. The amount of motion that you have left here needs to match the amount of travel that you're going to have in your drive shaft for the drive mechanism. So once you have it like that, you can actually test it by putting a little air pressure on the end and you'll see it rise and fall. It needs to move freely up and down without having to stretch the balloon. So stay tuned or click on the link for the next video and uh, you'll see the next step in construction.